Sometimes you make choices in life, and sometimes choices make you. The quote I selected is from the book "If I Stay" by Gail Foreman. I have an extreme fondness for this quote because I think it's so true. In life, you will have to make choices. Some of them will be easy and quick, whereas others will be hard to think about and make sacrifices for. And I think that it's your choices that determine who you are. However, there will be moments where you have to accept the consequences of life and what it presents you with, despite its good or bad intentions. And I think that that's what the author was trying to convey when he said that sometimes choices make you. Mia Hall, a dedicated and passionate cellist, has many tough decisions she has to make. But a surprising and unexpected turn of events leaves her with one last alternative that will determine her life forever. Set in Oregon, Portland, Mia lives with her mom, Cat, Dad, Denny, and brother Teddy. All who have a fond love for rock music. One day, the family decides to go on a drive, but find themselves taking part in a tragic car accident that claims the life of everyone except for Mia. While she may be alive, Mia is on the verge of dying as well due to the injury she sustained from the crash. In a terrible state and deep coma, the only person that can wake Mia Hall is Mia Hall herself. Everyone wants her to stay. But she's not so sure that she wants to wake up an orphan. How can she go on without her family? But how can she leave behind her grandparents, best friend Kim, and lover Adam? Able to see and hear everything that's going on, Mia is desperate to make her choice, but is confused by which one is right. In the novel, she recounts her life with little stories from the past, including everyone she loves. And the more she goes on, the harder she finds it to stay, and even harder to leave. What will she choose to do? I think the main themes of this book are love and sacrifice. Mia and her family all love each other, and by the way she talks about them, you can obviously see that she adores them. While she was in a coma, Mia was desperate to give Teddy one last magic kiss, even though she knew it couldn't really help him. She just missed him. And it's not only Mia that's making the sacrifices; it's also her friends and family that are still alive. Mia's granddad was willing to let go of his granddaughter, despite his deep love for her. He wants her to stay more than he's ever wanted anything in life. But he also took Mia's point of view into consideration and understood why she might want to leave. Her boyfriend Adam was also willing to let go of everything for her. He just couldn't lose her to death. Seeing her unconscious, it pained him, and he said, "I'll let you go if you stay." I really think that Gail Foreman did an outstanding job with this book. It's beautifully written and heartfelt. I definitely recommend it to everyone who loves realistic fiction with a little touch of romance.